said, Amen. Amen. January 3rd, two, is it January 3rd or 5th or 6th? I can't remember. The year 2000, Jesus appeared to me. You know, to lie against the Lord, that's what Ananias and Sapphira did. He said, how come you are not afraid to lie against the Lord? It was a death sentence straight. When you lie against the Lord, it's a death sentence. If the Lord did appear, he said, appear, it's a death sentence. You just wrote your death, you just wrote your death certificate. And he said, Africa is richer than the whole world put together. Did you hear me? Africa is richer than Europe, America, Middle East, Asia put together. He said, but the wealth of Africa is hidden. And he said, I will show you where it is. Do I look like somebody that has an idea where it is? <laughs> I had to one time tell God, I said, I think you're forgetting what you said. Though. That's why I said, let's go out one day. And we got to that service was closing. I said, Lord, honestly, all those visions, they look like they've passed. <laughs> and the man of God said, God said to tell you what he said and what he showed you will come to pass. God said he vowed on his life, it will happen. Amen. That's why you can't afford to walk away from me, you know. <laughs> if you can if you feel you have to stick around the likes of Dangote, I can assure you you have to stick more with me because he has just some small, tiny portion of Nigeria's wealth. I have access to the whole of African wealth. My goodness, Jesus Christ. I feel like palms, they should put palms on the road when I'm walking. I'm joking, please, Lord, forgive me for that. Amen? Amen. But that's wealth, Jesus. And it will happen in my time. Amen. That righteousness, it will happen in my time. Amen. And that wealth, I will see it. Amen. I will handle it. Amen. I will have it. Amen. I will use it for God in my time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. I said, I'll be so brief. Under 15 minutes, I'll be done. When you look at Hebrews 11, I said, I like my name to be there. But when you look at the feet of those men, you ask yourself, can your name be here? Can I give up what this guy gave up? How can a man at the point of death, men have done insurance for death, that when they die, insurance will give their family a particular amount so that they can be buried. Even the Bible says if a man begets a hundred children and has no barrier, it's an untimely Miscarriage is better than that man. Then a man says, when he dies, don't bury me. Say, rather, put his casket in the market square. So that when people are walking and they ask, whose casket? They say, tell them it's the casket of Joseph. So why is he here? Because one day we will live here. And when we leave, they buried him over 400 years later. Say, when we leave, take his casket and bury it in the promised land. And by that, he entered Hebrews 11. Then ask, how am I going to get there? If God, I just was human beings. When I look at what Moses gave up, ah, the throne of Egypt. Oga, okay, you and I, except the Holy Spirit help us, we'll grab that throne. Did you hear me? We we'll what? We we'll say, Lord, okay, let me go enjoy it for six months first. After six months, we'll discuss about leaving it. Ah, God, I said I will leave it, but. Even when Jebi, he let her, you when you're about to release her, I'll resign. Abby. And I was looking at a catalog of people. We're still talking on the subject of faith, right? We've been talking of faith for about two months plus. And I look at the catalog. What more will I say of David, Jephthah, who stopped the mouth of lions? Eh? Stop the mouth of lion to get there. May I never meet lion. <laughs> Rot, destroyed kingdoms, established, and the likes goes on. But you know what? I bring you a very fantastic way of getting in there this morning. Luke 17. I'm not sure I can go. You don't have to go through that. I can show you a way you can get in there. And your name will be written in gold. Actually, it sounds simple. When you read what Rahab the harlot did, 
said, you just hit the spice in the roof. If she was caught, let me tell you what will happen. She's not going to die. Herself, she has no husband. She's a real the harlot. Her father, her mother, her brothers, her sisters, her cousins, nieces, nephews will be burnt to death. I hope you know that. So, even some of those family members that has knew those spies were there. And one could have said to save his life, ah, let me just be the king, good king, books of the kings. Oh, king, they're in the roof, oh, tell the king I'm the one that told you. So that if he's going to kill all of them, they will spare me. Luke 17, I read verse 12. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priest. It came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back with a loud voice, glorified God, fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Where the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God, save the stranger. And he said to him, Arise, die, go thy way. Die faith. Really? For saying thank you. Die faith. Then I can be Hebrews 11 for saying thank you. Then I can be there for living a life of gratitude. That's not too difficult. Though. At least I don't have to part the sea. If you want part the sea. Eh? You want to sleep in den of lions and be sure they will eat you. Like Daniel, by faith, he stopped the mouth of lions. Should we try that one? If you should throw into the den of ten hungry men lions. Then you believe God. Then they will come and sleep beside you and use their head to shake your pillow. Ha! Are you sure? Are you sure we will hear your voice on the cliff? I guess it's easy to just say, Lord, thank you. And I'm there. What? I want to read it again to be sure. Like what happened to Mr. Jesse is not happening to me. When he said what instead of who, and we didn't get it. Let's read again. Maybe we should all read together to be sure. We're not missing it. Verse 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Then, by thanking God, I can move into Hebrews 11. By thanking God, I can please God. And all my enemies will be at peace with me. By thanking God, I can please God and receive the full reward from him for he's a reward of them that seek him. By thanking God, I can be reckoned as faith just by thanking God. What if I have not gotten what I was promised? Then I can still thank him, believing that he will perform his word. What if Things and he says, Great peace have they which love thy word, nothing shall offend them. That means it's a life of no one has said in first Thessalonians 5:18. He said, In all things, give thanks to God, for this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. If I am supposed to have a I don't have, and it's raining, and they've splat much on me. Instead of cursing the man, I said, Thank you, Jesus. And Lord said, That's faith. And instead of having what I normally have. And it's mine, and I'm deprived of it because I'm still waiting on the Lord. And I say, Thank you. God said, You are there. You are in Hebrews 11. You are there. Thy faith is faith. It's faith. For that, I'm pleased with you. For that, you have satisfied the condition of the divine. I may not have alabasca box to break. I may not have much to give, but at least I have a mouth and a heart that can say, Thank you, Jesus. And I'm there. And that's the message. It's not. Do they preach more on that one? Can they explain more with that one? Can they? In the true sense of it, in the true sense of it, if good happens to you, nobody will teach you to thank. Have you seen women? Did you see Gideon's mommy on that dedication day? Have you ever seen her dance like that? Do you know who that woman is? They don't dance in their profession. Do they dance? <laughs> I remember once I was driving, I had a checkpoint. <laughs> it was Brother Francis beside me. Say, oh God, where are you? I said, I'm fine. Say, I know this one. I said, you can't know him. Say, why? He said, his face cannot be seen in public. Ah! Say, you will be top security man. I said, just do your job. I said, oh God, sir, you can't go. <laughs> I said, if you see his face in public, he's sacked. Say, ah. 
So I got you yes, I said, leave that one. Do your job. So, sir, free to go. <laughs> I said, I forgot my license. <laughs> you know, when David failed madness, you think it's lack of faith. Go and check the scripture well. Even when faith is in motion, you see some. He will bring his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acting. That's why sometimes I, I even be, if you are in Hollywood, you, may, you should be able to understand some operations of faith. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. I said, you see how they do it. He said, they do use the psychology. If you see, you see that they use the part. So how are you? Well done. So that guy was... Well, and I told them, he said, they stopped and said, go and meet the general. Go and meet the Oga of the generals. They said, general, sir. Sir, give him some money. Let him go. Say thank you, sir. Hey, let general go. I said, Ben, sir. I said, may the Lord's for the catch. <laughs> Praise God. But I'm yet to see. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. I give gratitude in the natural realm. Now, Jesus, to this man who has received healing, called it faith. Then to the man who God has assured and is yet to see it, what would they call that? No wonder the tomb of Lazarus said, Father, I thank you. But it's yet to come out. I thank you. I thank you. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Say, for your word over my life. Say, thank you, Jesus. No, I don't think you get it. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Say, for my family, thank you, Jesus. Say, for my walk with God, thank you, Jesus. For my finances, thank you, Jesus. For my career, thank you, Jesus. For my health, thank you, Jesus. For my children, thank you, Jesus. For my husband, thank you, Jesus. For my wife, thank you, Jesus. For my home, thank you, Jesus. For my career, thank you, Jesus. For my work, thank you, Jesus. For my life, thank you, Jesus. Say, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Let's be honest about it. You just got a check of a hundred and one billion naira. You don't have a car. You just got a check of a billion naira. I are going to the bank to pay it in, and a car splashes mud on you. Will you cause? If the man can say, no, don't worry. Ah, you can go. Just go. Don't worry. But, ma, ma, don't, ah, keep going. Don't even stop. Leave the dress. I just my dress. I mean, leave the mud. Don't worry. Keep going. I mean, is that what you say? Then you can't have faith and be offended. It's not possible. No matter what anybody does to you, it is not possible. You will be what? Grateful. Ever grateful. Continually grateful. When he sees they hit somebody and he's fighting, has that one got him breakthrough? No. It's frustration. And you can't be in faith and be frustrated. You can't be in faith and be offended. So when you are in faith, showing life of gratitude, it shows that you know that you know that you know. That you know that you know. That you know. That you know that you know. This is how everything will end. And it will end with great joy. So let's all rise. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have given us. We can never repay you, but from our hearts, we like to say.
to say I believe. In First Corinthians 14, it talks about speaking in tongues. And then in verse 14, it says, If I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. That's speaking in tongues. What is it then? I'll pray in the spirit. I'll pray with the understanding also. I'll sing with the spirit. And I'll sing with the understanding also. Else, when thou shalt bless the spirit with the spirit, how shall he that occupy the room of the unlearned say amen and die giving of thanks? Which we're going to do now. We're going to give thanks. Let me repeat. Let me read again. 1 Corinthians 14. I'll read from verse 14. If I pray with an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I'll pray with the spirit. I'll pray with the understanding also. I'll sing with the spirit. I'll sing with the understanding also. Else. That means that you're praying in the spirit and singing in the spirit. This is what he's doing. How shall, when, else, when thou shalt bless with the spirit, how shall he that occupy the room of the unlearned? Those who don't understand what they are saying. Say Amen. At thy giving of thanks. Seeing he understand not what you are saying. So that means you can give thanks appropriately by speaking in tongues. Somebody say, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Holy Ghost, thank you. Pray in the spirit. My Lord, so prone de de ketanga. Gravo summa katande. E gre de lusa. Mangeliba katande le bokoko sondo. O brodo. Shekeli katuza kata kata kata. Olo bo 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 a great, 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 Mukusha Katande Kalebo Kozuvro do Koko Sekete Kelebondo Suvra Kangalibo, a great, a great, Nengre de Ketete, Ukoriba Kasande, a Kalabakatata, Korobondo, Korobondo. Hallelujah. And I close with this prayer to God. He that has with no respect of persons. He that shows no favoritism to any. He that follows his word meticulously. When they gave him thanks, they were healed. He said, thy faith now has made thee whole. He got more than he asked for. As we give you thanks, Father, give us more than we ask for. Actually, that anointing unto him, there is able, there are conditions for them. For example, in Matthew 6, he says, Seek ye first the kingdom. Then God, in his own wisdom, will add what is needful to you. At that instant, that's what Solomon did. They added to him riches, long life. Actually, that's the Ephesians 3.20 anointing. It comes through seven conditions. You, like, you know, I always like seven. Maybe we should look at one of these. The seven conditions for the Ephesians 3.20 unction. The grace that will do exceedingly abundantly above what you ask. But what he asked was understanding. What he thought was understanding. What they gave him was understanding, long life, Riches, victory, rest. Amen. Also, thanksgiving brings the efficient 320 anointed because he got wholeness. Wholeness means the money you spent, the hand that went in, it will come grow back out. There's a difference between being cleansed. You're the Zoma leprous. All the money he has spent from the day he had leprosy, whether from birth, they will give it back to him. He said, Restore. The years. Amen. That's the official 320. So I'm asking God Amen. on the honor of his word as we have given him thanks today Amen. to go beyond what you are expecting Amen. and give you much more. Amen. 
like he did to that leper. He didn't ask to be whole. He was thankful to be healed. His thanksgiving brought wholeness. Lord, as we thank you, do beyond what we are asking. Do beyond what we are thinking. <laughs> Go beyond what we need. Let the Ephesians 3.20 grace, let it rest on us. Glorify your name in these lives that is grateful to you, that is thanking you both for the things we have seen you do and the things we know you will still do. Amen. We thank you. Somebody say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That's a good place to clap, right? <laughs>